Hey there, welcome back to another episode on the At Home Dive YouTube channel. My name is Joey and today we're in the kitchen doing something a little bit different. We're not cooking today. Today we're going to be going over the basics of how to sharpen knives. So before we get started, we're going to go over a few of the things that we have and that you're going to need and then we're going to get down to business. So sit back, hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in. So here we are with the basic setup. You don't necessarily need a stand, but a lot of whetstones come with a stand. So we have a stand here that's gonna hold the whetstones. One knife here that really needs sharpen. This knife's a, a five, year, six year old shoon that I have, kind of a mid-grade knife. And over here we have two whetstones. These are both King brand, and they're gonna vary in coarseness going from stone to stone. This is what they call a two-step stone. So we have a 220 grit, uh, stone, an 800 grit stone, a 1000 grit stone, and then we're going to finish with a 6000 grit stone. And we're going to work our way from the more coarse to the polishing stone down here. So this one's actually just going to polish up the knife and give it that nice mirror edge that we have and uh, just make sure it's really nice and sharp. So to get started, these have been soaking in water. All of the coarse stones I tend to soak in water for about 15 minutes and even this third stone has been soaking in water but not the 6000 grit. So to get started what we're going to do is we're just going to place the most coarse stone which is where we're going to start into the stand. I like to keep a little bit of extra water on standby. I tend to put it in a squirt bottle so that I can add as much or little as I want to as I go along and not end up with a giant mess. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to start by rubbing the knife back and forth and we're going to count down as we do that. That way we keep a nice even sharpening pattern on here. And the angle is what we're going to focus on to start. So if you look at the knife and you lay it flat, you need to know what angle or how many degrees you want to sharpen your knife at. A lot of knives come sharpened around 15 to 16 degrees, particularly for Shun brand. You can look your knife up if you'd like. We're going to lay the knife flat and then move to about 16 degrees. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the tip and just work our way up and then back. And whenever we're going forward or away from the edge of the knife is when we're gonna apply just a small amount of pressure. And when we come back, we're not really gonna be applying pressure. So we're gonna start off in increments of 15 and work our way down as we flip. And as we turn, we're just gonna make sure that we keep the knife at about the same degrees. And we're just gonna try to repeat the process that we were on the other side and keep it nice and even. That way we stay even on the knife blade. Now that we've done 15 times, we're going to go to 14. This time we're just going to go back and forth. Now 13. We're going to add just a touch of water. So now that we've worked our way down from 15 all the way to three, so a lot of times I'll repeat each set when I get to the lower numbers. That way it just makes sure that everything's nice and consistent. So for instance, right now, I'm gonna do the set of three twice, and then I'm gonna do two a few times, and then I'm gonna clean the knife off real fast. And so now that the knife's clean, what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at the area that we've just gotten through sharpening. So we need to make sure 
that the marks go about the same amount of distance up the blade, and that's gonna let us make sure that we're sharpening at an even rate. So if you can see here, we have about a 32nd of an inch that we're actually getting into the blade. And on the other side, we have about a 32nd of an inch as well. And that lets us know that we're keeping it nice and even. And if you drag your fingers along this part, or if you just put it right on your fingernail, it's gonna let you know and feel if there are any burrs left. Because what we're doing right now with this super low grit is we are exposing new metal. That way we can get it nice and sharp. Now that we've achieved that, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the next grit. So we've moved from the 220 to the 800 grit now. So now that I've went back and forth several times, I'm all the way down to number four again. And with the sets of four, I'll go ahead and do it a couple of times. Just as before, we're gonna move on to the next grit. And this, as I mentioned, is the 1000 grit. And so now is when the knife's actually gonna to start to feel sharp, but don't get misconstrued and stop early because you feel like it's sharp. Because you definitely wanna follow all the way through the process, okay? So again, we're gonna start back doing 15 reps on each side, and then we're gonna flip and go to 14 and work our way down all the way to one again. I've washed the knife down now, and as you can see, we still have the same amount of metal here that looks like it's been sharpened. And it's exactly even on both sides, and that means that we're keeping pretty consistent and even whenever we're sharpening and going through the process here. If you look really closely at the edge, all the little fine grind marks that we had from the coarse stone is now gone. It looks nice and smooth. And if you feel the knife, again, it, it actually feels pretty sharp already, but don't be confused by that. Uh, it is sharp-ish but it's not super sharp. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 6,000 grit whetstone. And this is, uh, this is actually where you achieve the polished look. So whenever we get finished here, the edge here should actually be just as mirrored as the top of the blade is, if not even shinier. So you should be able to actually catch a mirrored reflection in this whenever we're finished if you do a great job. So we're gonna get started now. And on this one, we wanna make sure we're not even really applying any pressure at all. Basically, we just wanna make good contact and bring it back. The higher you go in grit with the stone, the softer the stone actually is too. So if you look around the edges here, you'll see little chips and scrapes and stuff like that. And it's because this is actually pretty soft, really. If you try to, you can crumble it quite well. Um, but we're gonna try not to, in fact. And that's another reason we're not gonna be applying any pressure, because if you apply pressure at this point, whenever you're bringing back the sharp edge of the knife, it'll actually cut into the stone, and it's really bad for your stone and the progress you've made on sharpening your knife. So here we go, we're just gonna get going, and we're gonna repeat the entire process. Whenever I get closer to the end here, I'm not gonna start doing double steps yet because I'm actually gonna start over here in just a second before I consider myself finished. I'm working my way all the way down to single strokes, but this time I'm actually gonna start over from 15 and then do the entire process again. Just due to the fact that we are not applying any pressure, we're literally just gliding the knife against the super soft stone. And so you're gonna make progress, but you're gonna make progress very slowly. So you have to be patient with it, and you have to actually take your time and just simply put in the work. So now that those things are finished, I've cleaned off the knife. And again, as you can see, we still have the same exact amount of area where we've been polishing and sharpening the knife. And as you can see now, it's actually like perfectly mirror sharpened. Uh, and that's a good sign. It feels nice and even. And if you take your fingernail, it'll actually catch as opposed to sliding up your fingernail when you touch it to it. And as you can see here, you can actually shave with this knife now. And anytime you can shave with a knife, that's a good sign that you've done a pretty good job sharpening. All right, well that wraps us up on how to sharpen knives, the beginner's guide. So if you liked the video, comment below and let me know how yours turned out. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.